In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to code your gauge cluster backlights to be on all the time, not just with the headlights. One of the reasons I want to do this is because I converted my gauges to look like M3 gauges. I have another video on my channel showing you guys how to do that. Um, it was a little involved, but at the end of the day, I do show you how to do everything. And one of the byproducts of doing that is uh, the needles. They don't stand out too much during the day um, and I'd like to have this backlit at all times I believe the M3 with the white LED backlighting is on 24 7 and the car is coded as such you can actually code a regular E90 or E92 to have the backlights on at all times maybe you'll want that just for regular day driving make it stand out a little bit more I'm doing it just because I want this to um, pop a little bit more and especially have the needles uh, illuminate a little bit better during the day so right now if I go key on I'll have this in the off position we'll go key on as you can see they're not on I have no headlights on or anything like that so we wouldn't expect them to be on but I want to code it so that even with everything off every time you drive the car these will be on. This is what they look like when they're on. I want to have these on 24-7 so these needles pop during the day and are a little more visible and it just looks nice anyway. I've coded the car for a digital speedometer. That helped out but I read that you can actually code these uh, gauges to be on backlit at all times. So I'm going to go for that. As you can see headlights are on. i got the orange LED backlighting on here. If I turn it off, they go off. So when we're done coating, these should be on, regardless of the rest of the lights being on. So let's get set up on the laptop. In case you're new to my channel, um, I do coating using INPA and NCS Expert. And I have this cable. It is a K plus DCAN USB interface cable. That's what we're going to use to interface to the car. And I'm going to link to a thread that shows you how to set up your laptop to do the same thing. Um, and I pretty much say this in any of my coding videos. Uh, it's a requirement to be able to code this. So we'll connect this to the OBD2 port on the car and get the laptop set up and I'll show you once I load up the software. So whenever you're coding, first thing you want to do is make sure that you have a good battery. And if you doubt the condition of the battery, you just connect it to a battery charger. Mine's in good shape. I changed it recently. And if you have, if you don't have comfort access, you got to insert your key obviously, but I have comfort access, so I'm going to go press it once and press it a second time so my lights light up on the dash. Turn off your headlights and your interior fans so you don't run down your battery. And now we got to load up the software on our laptop. As usual, when you're using InPower NCS Expert, you want to make sure that uh, your uh, connection to the car is sound. You want to see two black dots lit up on the laptop. It takes a second, but since I got verification there, I know that when I try to interface with the car via NCS Expert, it's connected. So what we're going to do is go into NCS Expert, run it. We're going to load a profile, file, load profile. And then if you follow that thread, you'll have a similar uh, drop down choice here. And I'm going to select Refters, NCS Expert Profile. You could just use Expert Man as well, but uh, we're going to go to that. We're going to hit F1 and then F3 to tell what chassis we're working on. And in this case, E89. Yeah. And then we're going to have to pull down all the information regarding the car. And we're going to do that now from the car access system. Now it has all our information loaded. Now we're going to hit back. And we want to process an ECU. Instead of having all these different choices, we're going to narrow in on the combi module, which is the module for your um, gauge cluster. So right here, combi. Hit OK. Hit OK. Now what we want to do is read the ECU. 
The job name is Coderin, SG Coderin. That means it's ready to program. But if we click Read ECU, it's going to change the job name to, to Read. It pops up a trace file. That's all the information off the combi. The only thing that I've custom coded to my combi module thus far is my um, digital speedometer readout. I don't have any um, modified trace files or anything like that. So I'm going to do it in the basic, fa basic form, which is manipulating the FSW underscore PSW file. So I'm going to go to Drive C, NCS Expert. We're going to go into the work directory and we're going to look for a trace file. So we're working with the FSW underscore PSW trace file. We're going to load that up. Now, for the actual backlighting command, we're going to search for Control F, M underscore T A G underscore S K A. That should pull up uh, what we're looking for here. That's the one. S K A L E N B E L E U C H T U N G. This should say not active, niche active. So we're gonna delete everything before the active symbol. Make sure it lines up with the rest. And then we're going to click Save As. And we're going to do a .man file, which I already have there. We're going to overwrite it, which is fine. Now we got the file that the ECU is going to load. So now we're going to go to Basic Functions. So we're going to look for this one here, Coapi read SG get FSW PSW. That's telling the car to queue up the file that we just uh, generated, the FSW underscore PSW dot MAN. So now we're loaded. Job name is in the read state, Codir Dayton lesson means read. So um, it's just left in the last setting that it was in before when we read the ECU. So we want to change the job to SG Coderin. Hit OK and hit Execute Job. It's going to push that file into the ECU. Coding active, coding ended. My um, car just flashed and I can already see. Headlights are off, but I got backlighting even with the headlight in the off position. So that was all it took. So that was definitely one of the easier things to code. Didn't even have to cycle the key off or on to, to get this to happen, but we're gonna go key on and just tab over to make sure I still got my um, vehicle speed. And close the door. So the custom coding that I did before, which was vehicle speed, that's still there. And my gauge cluster is lit even with the headlights off. Put it on, everything's lit. And let's see about um, brightness. I'll have the headlights in the on position and we'll go hit up on this to set my brightness. And I want to click the BC button. And we'll bump that up. And we're good. That just reset because I actually reset the whole uh, combi module, the gauge cluster module. So now when we turn the headlights to the off position, they stay on and they're fully bright. And I have to reset my clock as a side effect of doing this. But definitely one of the easier um, things to code. And you don't necessarily have to convert your... Uh, gauge cluster to white to be able to benefit from this. It wouldn't maybe hurt to have them backlit all the time even with the original orange gauges. It just makes things a little bit easier to see during the day. Anyway, just wanted to get that done. Um, custom coding on my gauge cluster to be backlit at all times so that primarily these uh, needles kind of pop a little bit more during the day when it's bright out. So thanks for watching and good luck. <laughs>